How were the ancient pyramids of Giza constructed in the first place? When the ancient Egyptians constructed the three pyramids of Giza, one for each of the three pharaohs Khufu, Khafra, and Menkore, there were no cameras in existence. Therefore, researchers have had to put together hints as to how these monumental monuments were built. Researchers have been able to describe those achievements more precisely during the last 20 years because of a number of fresh discoveries and investigations. Welcome back to Quick Information Post, the number one online information sharing that is there to help you understand your world better. In case it's your very first time in the channel, please take a moment to subscribe and join the family. More than 96% of my viewers are not yet subscribed, please support the channel. The pharaoh Khufu constructed Giza's first and greatest pyramid, reign started around 2551 BC. Ancient scribes regarded his pyramid, now known as the Great Pyramid, as one of the seven wonders of the world since it stands 455 feet tall. But who constructed the pyramids in Egypt? Although it stood on higher ground, the pyramid of Khafra, whose reign began around 2520 BC was only somewhat smaller than that of Khufu. Many academics think that Khafre erected the Sphinx monument, which is located next to his pyramid, and that the Sphinx's visage was fashioned after him. Menkore, reign began around 2490 BC was the third king to construct a pyramid at Giza, choosing a more modest structure that was 215 feet tall. Researchers have unearthed a variety of things related to the pyramids during the past 20 years, including a hamlet erected next to the Menkore pyramid a study demonstrating how water can make bricks easier to transport, and a papyrus found by the Red Sea. These have made it possible for experts to comprehend the construction of the Giza pyramids better. The new discoveries expand on earlier knowledge accumulated over the last 200 years. The methods used to construct the Giza pyramids were refined over several centuries, encountering all the challenges and setbacks that a modern scientist or engineer would encounter. Archaeologist Sir Flinders Petrie discovered simple rectangular mastaba tombs that were being built in Egypt around 5,000 years ago as the source of the pyramid. During the rule of Pharaoh Djoser, a significant advancement took place, rain started around 2630 BC. It began as a straightforward rectangular tomb at Saqqar before evolving into a six-layered step pyramid with subterranean chambers and tunnels. During the reign of the Pharaoh Snfru, rain began around 2575 BC who constructed at least three pyramids, there was another advancement in pyramid building methods. The methods used to construct the Giza pyramids were refined over several centuries, encountering all the challenges and setbacks that a modern scientist or engineer would encounter. Instead of building step pyramids, Snfru's builders devised strategies for creating smooth-faced, authentic pyramids. It seems that the designers of Snfru had difficulties. Due to the angle of the pyramid changing halfway up, which gives the structure a bent appearance, one of the pyramids he built at the site of Dishur is known today as the Bent Pyramid. Most academics believe that the bending angle is the result of a design error. The defect would be fixed by Sinfru's builders, who also built a second pyramid at Dishur that is now known as the Red Pyramid because of the color of its stones. The pharaohs assigned a senior official to supervise the building of the pyramids. Papyri from Khufu's reign were found in 2010 at the Red Sea location of Wadi al Jarf by a team of archaeologists. Despite the fact that Ankhof was in command during the pharaoh's 27th year, according to the papyri, many experts think that someone else, maybe may have been in charge during the earliest years of Khufu's rule. Researchers are attempting to comprehend the intricate planning that would have gone into erecting the pyramids, which also necessitated building the temples, boat pits, and graves that were situated close to the gigantic buildings. The ability of the Egyptians to accurately align buildings with true north has been highlighted by researchers. This skill may have aided in the planning of the pyramids. Khufu's pyramid is aligned to true north within a tenth of a degree, according to Glenn Dash, an engineer who analyzes the Giza pyramids for ancient Egypt research associates. It's unclear exactly how the ancient Egyptians accomplished this. A port that would have been used to bring in supplies, food, and people has been excavated and studied by archaeologists, during the past few years. The papyri discovered at Wadi al-Jarf make reference to the significance of Giza's ports by stating that limestone blocks, used in the pyramid's exterior casing, were transported by boat in a matter of days from quarries to the pyramid sites. The village erected close to Menkore's pyramid is where the port that archaeologists discovered is situated. 
large mansions for high-ranking officials, a barracks complex that most likely housed soldiers, and buildings where numerous clay seals, used in record-keeping, were discovered were all present in this town. The common laborers most likely slept in modest homes close to the pyramid site. The labor estimates provided by various archaeologists building the three pyramids at Giza typically range between 10,000 and 15,000 persons. In a 2013 investigation, Richard Redding, the chief research officer, and colleagues, discovered that enough cattle, lambs, and goats were killed each day, to generate, on average, 4,000 pounds of meat to feed the pyramid builders. Redding made the discovery, using the animal bone fragments recovered at Giza and the diet needed for someone working hard. According to Egyptologist Mark Lehner, and engineer David Goodman, many of the stones used to build Khufu's pyramids, came from a horseshoe-shaped quarry, that is situated nearby and to the south of the structure. Their discoveries were first reported in the 1985. According to the experts, building materials from a quarry south-southeast of Menkore's pyramid would have been utilized to construct that pyramid. Which quarry was utilized for Khufu's pyramid remains unknown. Each of the Giza pyramids had a smooth limestone outside, casing when they were nearly finished. Since it was recycled, for various construction projects, throughout the centuries in Egypt, little little of this exterior casing is still there today. The majority of Egyptologists concur that a system of ramps was utilized, to transport the stones up when they arrived, at the pyramids. Egyptologists don't know exactly, how these ramps were made, though. There is not much remaining physical proof of the ramps, but over the past few decades, various speculative drawings have been put out. The Scan Pyramids Mission, a project being carried out by academics from three separate institutions, the Heritage Innovation Preservation Institute, and the Egyptian Ministry of Antiquities, may produce new data. The Giza pyramids are being scanned and recreated by the project's experts utilizing a multitude of technology. The endeavor may disclose additional information about the pyramid's construction as well as whether or if the buildings contain any hidden rooms. The pyramids serve as stone mountains that demonstrate the otherworldliness of their ancient beliefs. When you stand in front of those pyramids, you believe that they were impossible to construct.